What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. And again, I'm Ian Fuego here. And we are here to continue, or actually, I guess, conclude mm -hmm. our review. Well, no, because we have one more review for Freddy material coming, yeah, actually. That's right, yes, for the Freddy's Nightmares. Indeed. Mm -hmm. So this time we are going to be reviewing the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, you guys. Uh, never officially re uh, reviewed on this channel before, yep. but we're going to get into it because we are reviewing everything Freddy. Mm -hmm. So this is next, and as journey. Fuego said, mm -hmm. next up after this, and finally, we're going to review the seven episodes of Freddy's Nightmares that Freddy actually was a part of that story. So look forward to that, but for right now, we're going to dive into this remake. So we're going to do this review like we do our reviews normally, talk about our overall thoughts, then we'll talk about the story, the acting, the effects, mm -hmm. all of that good stuff in turn, and I will say that... I was, I really did not like this movie the first time I saw it, or the Same. second time, or even the third time I saw it. Yeah, I was mad in theaters. I was very <laughs> angry, yes, I agree with you. And a lot of that was because of the poor CG face choices, a lot of that was because of other filmmaking choices. I will say that my hatred has deteriorated after this watch. Mm. I did find more to enjoy about this movie than I did in any previous watch of it Same. it's still a bad <laughs> movie no <laughs> and it's still not good for a lot of reasons which we'll get into but i didn't hate it it's not my least favorite hmm. it's my second to least favorite no. <laughs> so so behind what freddy's dead yes yeah no. and by the way we still need to record our um ranking Oh, so yes, that's right. Good call. So yes, um, I that yeah, I was not a fan of Freddy's Dead the second time or this time I watched it. Yeah, this time so I was bad. more of a fan of this. Otherwise, I might have dropped this to the very bottom. But I thought that this one was okay for certain reasons this time around. Yeah, it's not a great. It, it's it's a cool dream death movie. It's not the best Freddy movie. Mm -hmm. But I respected certain things more this time around than I did before. Sorry. Yeah. The, uh, this time I didn't hate it. <laughs> I will admit. And I mm -hmm. think watching all of the other films in close succession gave proper context in a yep. lot of ways. And this film has some strengths, especially from a visual standpoint. Not always with the CGI, but I mean, there's some crazy wading through like almost like blood up to her ch chest and stuff like that. I really like Rooney Mara. And she, it's a very different take on Nancy. And I appreciated mm -hmm. that. The biggest problem with this film is that it feels the need to almost Gus Van Sant psycho this movie and recreate shots yes and that no. were done so much better in my shots, estimation. Yes, you I know? Agree, yeah. yeah, and so that was one of the biggest gripes that I had about it. But I mean, it's it's not a terrible film, and it does in fact implement two distinctive things with the micro uh, naps or, or, mm -hmm. or, or whatever it is as you described previously and also the brain activity after somebody is physically dead those are the two most distinctive and interesting things that are brought to the table here it's it's not a good movie but it's not as terrible as a lot of purists like to slam it for mm -hmm. in my estimation and jackie earl haley is good i actually like him i, I, I like a scary freddy again mm -hmm. you know freddy hasn't been this scary since the second film mm -hmm. so uh, so yeah, you, you touched on a lot of the points that we're going to hit, I think throughout <laughs> this. So, um, overall, yeah, it's just not a great movie. It's a retelling of the first Nightmare on Elm Street, but they go more in depth in places that perhaps they shouldn't and less in depth in places that they shouldn't. So, um, yeah, overall, it just leaves a bit of a sour taste in your mouth, especially if you're a fan of Platinum, of the other movies. Platinum Dunes? Or Platinum the Dunes. It's a Jerry Bruckheimer like, produced thing. Just when he like, was doing uh, all that. Just like the Friday the 13th and, one. And Texas, too. Texas mm -hmm. Chainsaw. So, yeah. so, yeah. It was of that ilk. And it just fell a little bit flat. Story-wise, it's about the same thing. It's a group of high school high school students <laughs> that are tormented by <laughs> Freddy. But the difference is um, we're not sure, necessarily. We're not sure. Again, quotey fingers. Mm. Uh, that Freddy is necessarily as evil a guy as we thought he's been through all the previous films. Which is the one thing that I... I mean, I hated it the first time, and now I'm a little bit more okay with the way they bait and switch you mm -hmm. in the scripting of this film, because they're like, was Fred Krueger... I think they should have committed to it. I think so, too. Yeah, yeah, and they... Unfortunately, they leave it a little more murky gray area, so to speak. Well, and no, so, they don't. They well, say well, explicitly. Well, I mean, they, they, they do, I guess. But, I mean, they just don't really drive the point home. So, in the original series, Freddy was a child killer. 
And it was only very vaguely alluded to him being a possible Kitty Diddler. Yeah, In out. this one, it is a very explicit choice where, uh, for a long time, like, everyone assumes that he was a Kitty Fiddler. And then the kids themselves are like, we can't find any evidence. What if he was innocent and you guys killed an innocent man? Like, that was interesting to me. What if Freddy was originally an innocent man burned for no reason? Mm. And so he goes after their kids as a payback i'm like that's a story in and of itself that's a True. great horror story mm -hmm. but they abandon that and they yeah. go back and like no he was a kiddly fit kitty fiddler and so they kind of renege on their own interesting thing and it doesn't it doesn't bode well for the movie and so it's about the kids of springwood finding out about this creep freddy that was killed by their parents and he's now after them in their dreams yeah. it's the same story as the first movie just done a little bit differently and a little bit less good yeah and the the differently well, really is the fact that they borrow a lot of ideas from the comics that cecil and i have been reading and the fact that mm -hmm. they are trying to hide these kids from knowing about freddy because right. of the fact that if they know he gains power once again and so but how so would they and that's the, the other thing how would they know is, that he would come back Unless they knew there was something supernatural mm -hmm. about him. It, it doesn't True. make sense. There's a lot of plot holes. Tons of And a lot of things that don't make sense in mm -hmm. this movie. There's a couple of things, like you said, you mentioned the things that I personally like. I think the addition of the micro naps mm -hmm. makes a very strong addition. If you're up for a certain amount of time, your brain will just shut down yeah, and put you to point. sleep even when you're awake for seconds at a time. That is a super scary idea. Just as scary to me as sleep paralysis. Um, which, by the way, I think sleep paralysis is something that needs to be investigated in the next Freddy movie, mm -hmm. too. Um, but, Ideas. <laughs> yeah, indeed. So um, I I think that they had some cool ideas. And like you said, I think Freddy was more ominous than he's been in a while. Oh, no, His face looked ridiculous, but the performance yeah. was good. Well, I, mean, I thought Earl Jackie Earl Haley's performance of Freddy was good. It was a different... It was not Robert Englund, no. but it was still appropriately creepy and I mean, good. He, he looked horrible. Yeah. He looked terrible, but that wasn't his fault. His performance of Freddy, I think, was good. Yeah. So, I, it's a weird mixed bag this time around for me. Yeah, and segueing even further into the acting, I I still really like Rooney Mara. She's gone on to do She a doesn't ton of, really do much, though, besides much. look I mean, big and doe-eyed. Like... Yeah. That's that's the big problem she's I have easy, with this movie. She, she's easy on the eyes, but she doesn't... Uh, I, I will grandly say that she does not have the same just kind of, I don't know, like punch that uh, Heather that does. Heather does. In, well, not only that, but the whole... All of the characters. Like, in the first movie, we see them together and having fun and being a crew before they start getting dismantled. Yeah. In this, it's, already it's, all, it's dismantling like, them yeah. from the very start mm -hmm. when Dean gets killed in the diner. Mm -hmm. Like, their crew is falling apart. We never got a chance to get to know the crew yeah. or like the crew. So we have no that's, attachment to the crew when that's they die. the biggest and most important thing. is like, you never really, aside from Nancy a little bit, you don't really care very much You're about You're transferring. You didn't even get Nancy yeah. until the back third of the movie. True. Like, you, you see Dean at first, right? And then you and, see and, Tina. And, and, or, who, yeah. Who, who would really focus Or was well. it Liz? Did they change it to Liz in this one? I don't know. I don't know. Basically, she's the Tina stand-in. She's the Tina stand-in. Blondie. Stand -in, gets Blondie. The exact yeah, but way. we're following her like she's the protagonist yeah. for the first half hour of the movie. And then she dies, and then we switch to Nancy. And it's like, but you even can't do that. that. I mean, you can't. We don't have the time to get to know or get to love the characters when we're jumping from character to character like this. Yeah, and same beat with the boyfriend being scapegoated just like yeah. in the initial film. Mm -hmm. And so I... I yeah, Played by I mean, Thomas Decker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't know. I actually point out to like Clancy Brown as the, the, the father. Yep. I think he's solid in this well, as far and, as his acting um, goes. And so. the, the girl from Whatever. both Nashville and I'm American to, Horror Story, um, Connie Britton. Connie Britton. Connie Britton. Connie Britton playing the mother. Yes. Uh, Nancy's mm -hmm. mother. Um, so yeah, the adults have some acting pedigree, but it's just, the movie is sunk by its own issues. But mm -hmm. the other cool thing, like you said, is when Thomas Decker gets got, mm -hmm. you know, he <laughs> dies, but then we find out that Freddie knows the fact that the human brain stays functional for seven minutes up to seven minutes after the body dies and, the, his, and he's his like and we still great. got six minutes to play mm -hmm. and like that was the scariest thing in any freddy movie i'd seen in a long time since two it's the best line in the movie it is it, it is really we is. still got six minutes to play and uh -huh. it's delivered by jackie oh in my a god in this menacing manner and it really just gets that nastiness across so i have to give credit for those mm -hmm. things the micronaps and that 
I give big credit to the movie for mm-hmm. because they're adding to the Freddy franchise without ruining it. The rest of the movie is what's not as entertaining yeah i didn't as much as i'd like like i loved jackie delivering that line but i didn't like him re-delivering all of these other england lines you know where i like he was some like, of them some of them i, I mean the you know i i've made it uh, very evident my favorite kill of this franchise he alludes to it he gives the same quote about a wet dream and mm-hmm. you've got others you know throughout and stuff like that so there's tons of callbacks it's uh, not just in dialogue well but, with the dog too i mm-hmm. was just trying to pet him yeah. <laughs> I was like, God damn, that's evil. Yeah. Like, course, again, he struck you know, me as evil. the word bitch is going to be mentioned at some Lots particular that, point. Yeah. Lots of that. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, uh, effects, wh- wise? effects wise, again, Freddy's face, they tried to add CGI, and I mm-hmm. think it totally ruined it. It totally distracted. He was too smooth. Yes, he looked more technically like a realistic burn victim, mm-hmm. but the CG addition looked really fake, and it felt like he was never really there, his face. Mm-hmm. Even if his body was the shing 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 of the of the claws doesn't make any sense. I actually like it. It was scary during the movie, but there's no logistical way that would work because the claws wouldn't rub together. That's the point. So it was like a ADR like. Yeah, it was just an ADR edition. There's no even when he does this, the claws wouldn't rub together because that's not how the glove is made. If they're rubbing together, you're dulling the blades first off, uh, and they wouldn't. So they're trying to say, okay, maybe it was just the finger things that were making that sound, but it was two blades rubbing together, like ching, 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 and it doesn't make sense because the blades don't rub together on on an actual glove like that. So while it's cool, while some of the things are cool, they didn't make sense all the time. And again, the kids were vapid and uninteresting the and score is very forgettable here too actually i kind of like the score Do you? Mm-hmm. i give credit to the score i've listened to the score numerous t- Happy. numerous times re huh? you know when i'm writing stuff even when i'm writing for dylan's new nightmare i've listened to the remake score hmm. i actually quite like the remake score Do you? okay mm-hmm. i mean i mean i'm not gonna i'm not like, saying it's better than the original than the but original. i do yeah. quite like it yeah well then it's just it it didn't bring enough new to the table for me, and so I, I mean, whereas I uh, actually I actually think it did bring really? some new stuff. I, yeah. I mean, it didn't bring it to the table like New Nightmare did, in my estimation, as far as updating a score. I think and, I think it did, did really? actually. I think I need I to re-listen to it then. Specifically. I like New Nightmare. New Nightmare updated the original. No. This one was a new take on a Nightmare score, and I, I really liked it. And it, to it, it had more kids choral. Mm-hmm. Ba- background stuff i have the hiccups guys i don't know how i got the hiccups in the middle of this review yeah yeah i just haven't listened to it in an isolated format and that's probably where it's worth it it's good as much credit for that for that show i think it's worth listening to i listened to it a bunch Hmm. so i actually like the score but yeah the movie is lackluster but it is is. having revisited it now amongst all the other freddy content that we're consuming you wouldn't say it's the worst it's not the worst no no freddy six for sure cody cody leach is right (laughs) Uh, he hates it. I hate it now too. I think Freddy's it's dead. not. It's not Freddy. Some of the kills are okay, but it's not Freddy. It's not well done. It's not sca- scary. I, I it's honestly just a hate it. Yeah, yeah. Freddy's dead is definitely as happens in the film. It's the Nintendo of Freddy. It is movies. <laughs> well, Nintendo's yeah. good now, but oh, it, it wasn't always. That's the yeah. thing. It doesn't. It's just. Yeah, it's yeah, maybe bad. it's. We'll about, get. To, maybe we'll it's get to it when we talk about Sorry, the ranking. Guys. So. <laughs> That's going to do it for our review of the Nightmare on Elm Street remake from 2010. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry about these hiccups. I don't know what to do about them. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this movie. Why do you hate Why do you hate it if you hate it as much as you do? Tell us why. Do you hate it less? Have you revisited it recent, recently? Do you, do you think it's the best of the series? Are just you insane? This. I don't know. I, I'm just being silly about that. But uh, I extend the grande gracias. Uh, very much thanks to all of our patrons for tuning in and checking this content out and look forward to the uh, for these nightmares coverage which is going to be coming very soon Next as week. well as the Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash Nightmare Warriors, which is our finale to the comic coverage as well. So, until next time, Freddy fans, I've been Jaime Fuego. I've been Cecil Laird. <laughs> Guys, we're doing all this coverage because we are currently producing mm-hmm. a, a Nightmare on Elm Street fan film called Dylan's New Nightmare. It's a direct, unofficial sequel to Wes Craven's New Nightmare. The c- campaign is currently live on Indiegogo if you want to check it out. Yes. We greatly appreciate it. Even if you can't contribute... Sh- 
share it out so more Freddy fans can find out about it and yeah. we can make this as good a fan film as possible. Yeah, yeah, as uh, Miko <laughs> Hughes is returning to play Dylan Porter. So Yes, big time stuff. This is the dream master behind the entire project, writer and director. So if you have the opportunity, share it and contribute if you can. So Indeed. Yeah. So thank you guys very much for watching. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.